Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Now when we last left off, we fought that Giga Larva thing and it took me nearly an hour to do because my freaking um, battle strategies were completely messed up. Anyway, let me make sure to turn back on all of Rita's commands and make sure to turn off all the ones that, um, that, uh, Giga Larva was uh, resistant to, and it doesn't look like I turned off any of Estelle's moves. So let's go ahead and move on. We need to go back to Dongrest. So that's what we'll. Blah, blah, blah. Game. Why does it always do that? And why is there a car or like a giant truck passing by right now? Apologies. Um, if I sound a little weird for a couple seconds, there's like this random truck or something passing by right now, and it's really loud. And because of noise removal, I might end up sounding a little weird because of that, but it is what it is. Okay, so... No, really, that truck needs to fuck off. Yeah, we beat you in the next week. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. I'm gonna fight, like... Normally, in most situations, I would just avoid the... Whatchamacallit's, these... An not animals, these enemies, because I fought the boss and... I feel like I just need to get back to the next civilization in one piece. But as it stands now, that's not really nec- I think it's not really necessary. I think I need to get in as many fights as I can and level up just a little bit. You know, level up while this garbage truck is in the background. Okay, so I couldn't go this way for whatever reason, but because I defeated the boss, can I go this way now? No. Do we come back here eventually for some reason? I feel like we have to come back here eventually for some reason, because there are certain paths that we simply just can't, um... What's the word? We, we can't go to yet because of, um, you know, random bushes that we can't destroy just yet. Let me use my dragon upper on you. Oh, I have a full, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, limit bar. There we go. <laughs> ah, nurse. You know, I didn't realize how necessary nurse was. Oh, we got a surprise encounter. Yeah, you don't scare me one bit, buddies. Ugh, so I think I'm gonna need to make sure that I check the battle strategy every time that I, um fight against a boss, just to make sure they don't have to like spend another freaking hour for no reason. Like if I'm going to spend an hour on a boss, I want it to be because I'm under leveled, not because I'm just the right level, but my battle strategy was completely screwed over. You know, I'm mad, ab I'm still mad about that, even though that happened a week ago. I'm still mad about that. But it is what it is. Um, oops. For some reason I thought I was repeated. It doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. Okay, that's right. Estelle's not gonna fight because I have her set to only awesome. fighting. Um, what you, what you call it? Um, strong enemies. Oh yeah, I want to fight you. You want to fight? <laughs> yes, they could be weaker, buddy. Don't get cocky. Cause if I recall correctly, Yuri, you're the only person who actually died. I think he died twice, maybe once, outside of the boss, because of these stupid, what are these called? Grass, how on earth are these grasshoppers? That just does not make sense. They are not grasshoppers, they're freaking praying mantis things. Ugh. Come on, I hate these things too, because they, first of all, let me get rid of this, these freaking physical elements. Why is Estelle attacking them? They're not really, um, you know, strong enemies or anything, so... I don't know, I guess just because she could. By the way, what do I have her set to... Let me go to Battle Strategies real quick. I have her set to Moderate for HP, and I think I want to keep it that way. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it that way. Alright, you want to fight, brother? Sorry if I hurt- I'm not- I'm not apologizing. You guys got in our way, and now it's time to pay the price. And that means death. Off with your heads. I have an axe, so that means that I specialize in chopping people's heads off. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, anyway. No, no, stay away from our killer, you sack of shit. <laughs> Jesus. There we go. 
Yeah, I beat you in the next week, too. Okay, so now I believe that's... No, we still have plenty to do. Okay. I wonder, can you do like a triple encounter link? Let me see. I want to try it. No, I don't think you can. Dang it. Yeah, we'll destroy them in no time. Or will we? Ah, oh, Crushing Eagle. I forgot about that one. Wait, who was it that... I didn't even hit my left thumbstick, so I have no idea how I did a Destructo Pain Shot for that, but okay. If anything, I want to use my Destroying Rock. Do I have any Elemental Arts Attacks? I don't think that was a new one, but it's been a while since I've heard that one, so I'm not quite sure. Let me save. Because why not? And this time we'll save over slot 2. Because why not? I mean, it makes sense. I know I completely ignored that stupid insect thing, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> oh, wait, I have to read this. Anamulous air conditions result in Blastia going out of control, which in turn leads to monsters turning vicious. If this is related to the distortion he was talking about, then it might not be only this force that's affected. Wait, now, how... You, you sure mumble to yourself a lot, don't you? Egg, what? Another monster attack! Carol, keep your head down. It's, it's them! Done! You all do something? Do something? What do you mean? Those savage monsters turned docile as pups and ran off. What did you do? Or docile. Fury, it must be because we stopped the flow of the air! The monsters turned tame because we stopped the runaway air! Runaway air? Hmm. Hey, old man, do you know something? Well, my friend, Bellius, used to say something about it. So, it's true that Don and Bellius are friends! Who is Bellius? The deuce who rules the Col Colosseum of Nordapol- Nordapolica. Or Polica? Nordapolica. Nordapolica. And what's with that- and what's with that runaway air? It was really amazing! More and more really strong monsters kept coming on! Frick! But we- I don't know how to read today. Boy, those are the sort of things you keep to yourself. What? You don't do deeds like that so other people will notice. You do them so that you can protect your town and your friends. Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, can I see him for a moment? What? Oh, you can use healing arts. Thank you. Hmm. Ain't that raven over there? Quit hiding, you! Hmm. Our man ain't giving you trouble, is he? What do you mean, trouble? The reason the monsters got tame was our doing, mine especially. Huh? Raven's a member of Altosk? Somehow that seems to be the case. Ouch, Gramps! Cut that out! Shut up, you! Don Whitehorse. What is it? I know we've only just met, but I have something I need to talk to you about. Don, sorry to interrupt. Ah, I see. Alright, you dogs. Time to head out. Sorry about this, but something's come up. We've got to return to Dongrest. If you come by the Union, you'll have my ear first chance I get. Hope that's okay. If I have your word, that's fine by me. Hmm, you're not nervous at all to talk to me. You all would make a good addition to our guild. Guild, huh? We're going to make one, right? We'll see. So, what do you think? Y'all finally get a taste of how awesome I am? I sure didn't notice you being too awesome out there! Especially considering he wasn't in the boss fight to begin with. Always- Wait, no. <laughs> Always so quick to criticize. 
Alright, I'd like to go back to Dongress to meet with the Don and keep looking for Barbos. Rita, once Yuri's done with his business, we should go back to report. Rita? Oh, what was that? Once Yuri's done, we should go back to report to Alexei. Is something the matter? N no it's nothing. Come on, let's go back. The Mysterious Man in the Forest. Just who was that strange person with the sword anyway? Do you think he came to Cave Mock all by himself? There are so many monsters around. Judging by the way he was standing, he's pretty confident in his own abilities. He seemed calm or even like meditative. Well, whatever. He was a strange guy. Yeah, I have no idea what was up with him at all. Alright, anyway, um, one thing is, I feel like my, um, Rita voice and my Raven voice are a little too similar, so sometimes when I'm trying to voice them and when they're both in the same scene, it's a little hard. I'm gonna save, by the way, because I'm out in the adventure field, or adventure map, so I can. Um, it's a little hard to, like, do both of their voices at the same time because they're so similar. I mean, they're not, like, too similar. I know that I said that I was going to get into as many fights as I can. I'm just avoiding bosses like the plague. I'll get into fight with you. And I don't know why I'm calling them bosses, because they're not really bosses. They're just, you know, regular Joe Schmo enemies. I, I need to check what level we are, because this is the first boss fight in a long time, I think. No, I think we all fought, everyone survived the second Zoggy fight. This is the first boss fight in a while where everyone was alive when we defeated him, so everyone got a chance to level up, which is amazing. I don't want to do Destructo Pain Shot. Ugh, I feel like the left stick is a bit too sensitive sometimes when casting arts, and that's normally not the case. Normally it's a D-pad that has, like, sensitivity. Oh, crap. Let me use my recovery smash. Nice recovery smash. There we go. Excuse me, what? Okay, so... Now let's fight you, too, because why not? I feel like an easy win. Oh, I forgot to check your levels to see what we're at right now and how far we are to the next level. I don't think we've probably... Did anyone level up? I wonder. I'm pretty sure I was pretty close to going to level 26, but that's about it. Oh, crap. Uh, I don't know if that one was new or not. Um, okay, I'm level 26. Estelle and Yuri are almost level 27. And Rita is just a little bit ahead of me because she died during a couple of boss fights. You know, she should have been more careful. Okay, now do you have anything to say, buddy? Getting a ta- uh, oh, you're already saying the same thing. Let's see if the ta oh, the Don. Don Whitehorse. <laughs> I can see how a man like that could rise to the top of the Union. It's pretty impressive. I'm just relieved he's the sort of person who's willing to listen. I didn't think he'd give us a chance, considering that he's never met us before. That's what makes the Don so great! I told you, right? Man, he's so cool! Do you run his fan club or something? He, uh, knowing Carol, it wouldn't surprise me if he did run, like, a fan club for him or something. Well, let's see if any- oh, let's see if this say, you have to say young lady. Even if the Empire attacks, the Don will beat them up good. That kind of sounded a lot like my Estelle voice. What do you have to say, lady? Hey, what do you think you're doing just wandering around? What do I think I'm doing? What do you think you're doing, Miss Lady? Okay, so, um... I'm gonna go sell stuff a little, uh, real quick. First and foremost, I'm gonna replenish everything that I need, like apple gels, orange gels, I already have full Milan shells. I like to have at least five of lemon and pineapple gels. Um, medicine that cures petrification. I really don't need many bottles, honestly, like these because I have nice recovery smash. But it's an, it's nice to have a couple of like the really common physical elements because um. Okay, there's that stupid truck again passing by. Hey, oh, what the hell is a school bus driving in a FedEx car in the background? Are you kidding me? I mean, the FedEx car isn't really that out of the ordinary, but it's freaking July! What is a school bus doing right now? That's so dumb! <laughs> um... I don't really need more than four mats, because it's not very often that I use them. Okay, so... I don't think... Okay, that goes up for... 
Rapide, so I'll buy one of those. That goes up for me, so I'll use one of those. Uh, that goes good for Estelle, so I'll buy one of those, and, okay. Holy Circlet, that goes up, that's good for Estelle. Okay, Breastplate, sure. Oh my god, I'm almost out of money! I, I keep thinking, <sighs> alright, let me sell stuff first. Alright, so these are, oh, that's the stuff that, Burning Blood we don't need anymore. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, I literally shopped till I dropped. Oh, fishier and fishier. Let's uh, let's see this one. I never would have thought Raven was a member of Altosk. It looked like he and the Don were close. The old man probably has a pretty important job. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but he's probably one of Altosk's top officers. The fact that he can leave town on guild business shows the Don trusts him. That old man. You can't judge a book by its cover, Rita. Fishier and fishier. Okay, now it's time to equip the stuff that we just bought, so... Yep, that's better in pretty much... Uh, not really every way, but I have stronger physical attack! Now there's that breastplate that I want to equip, so I'll get that. And that stuff sucks. Now, let's see, who gets the better end of the deal? Sorry. So, oh my god! No way, buddy! I'm sorry, but... Yeah, Yuri needs, Yuri needs that more than anything, because... That... The magic attack that she got, the reduce magic attack that she got from that was like, no way, buddy. Now it's time to sell the stuff that we don't um, that we don't need anymore, such as the Surugi plus one, the War Axe, and the Kotaro. And wait, no, no, there is still something else I needed to sell. Um. Oh, I forgot to equip the Holy Circlet. All right, so. Okay, so we already have two of these. That's interesting. We'll equip that, and then we'll... Wait, no, let's see if uh, Rita can use the other one. No, she can use a bronze circlet, which kind of sucks, so... Alright, time to sell the rest of this stuff. Okay, so bronze circlet, holy circlet... No, there's got to be more stuff to sell. Oh, that goes... That's good for Yuri. Let me see... Let me see if... Uh... Yuri would like that. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll sell that. <laughs> I'm sorry if my if my way of selling is a little obnoxious. It's, it is what it is. Um. Okay, so that's good. Thank you very much for coming. Do I want to synth? No, no. I I spent too much time in the shop as it is. I'll synthesize later. Okay, so now I need to go to Antarcticus. Is it Arcticus? I, I don't think I read that right. I'm gonna rest. Oh, wait. Oh, well, you can check these. There's something is stuck. The drawer won't open. What about this one? There's nothing inside. What about this one? It's full of equipment. Okay, now it's time to sleep. Hopefully, you know, I don't think I'm dead broke now, but I'm pretty close to being pretty broke. All the money that I got from grinding a few sessions ago is essentially gone because I just spent like a freaking wild, wild animal. That doesn't make sense. Okay, um, let's go ahead and save again. And we have a little less than a minute to the end of the ep or a little over a minute to the end of the episode, so we're probably not going to see the dawn until next episode. Sorry about that, but that's just how it's going to have to be. So let me go ahead and let's see if there's anybody random to talk to. Say, you heard the news? It's just a rumor, but they say the Empire is behind the monster attacks. I highly doubt that, Mr. Sir, but if that is the case, then I'm sorry for doubting you. You want to see the Don? There's no way the Don would meet with kids like you. Hey, excuse me, sir? I am 20 years old. At least, Yuri is. I'm 18, but still, legal adult, buddy, you should treat me with respect. Anyway, um... Whatever the case may be, I think it's time to end this episode off with an awkward pause, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>